Ben Sanders, and this is uh, my last video from our 40 day prayer and consecration. Uh, the 40 days ended on April 18th, 2014. Of course, today is about four or five days after that. Um, it was a busy weekend over Easter slash Resurrection weekend. But I'll get that into that in a second. The uh, reason I've been doing these is uh, to um, follow the Lord, grow my relationship with Him, uh, seek Him in everything I do, and uh, pray and work on consecrating myself and with my congregation and towards a number of things, um, prayer items, personal uh, goals, uh, congregation goals, many things to pray for, lots and lots and lots and th of things to pray for in the world and uh, many people going through a lot of things. So uh, that was the focus of the 40 days. Uh, with that, I've been diligently working on trying to build muscle while being a professional uh, engineer and also uh, running my own business uh, at the same time. Um, pretty much the first 25, 30 days, I was fortunate enough to do it uh, without an eight hour work uh, day, but the Lord blessed me with the job, which was absolutely amazing during the time, as well as a number of other things in the 40 days, and it was a wonderful, wonderful experience uh, with the Lord. I felt like I've come a lot closer to Him in this process, and it was really worth it to me uh, to do it, um, but also uh, during that time, the most uh, weight that I had gained, not lost, was three pounds, so I'm um, always working to gain muscle mass. Uh, that's my goal. I have an ultimate goal right now of 225 pounds with uh, about 78% body fat. And the last I checked out was 221 or a little under that. So the goal is to keep going uh, as I push away from it, um, keep pursuing uh, this, um, this word, keep pursuing the Lord and the relationship with Him and keep pursuing my health and fitness and uh, for these next few weeks I'm going to be getting acclimated to the job I'm going to be moving uh, to my new place uh, that the Lord blessed me with <laughs> the day before the final day of prayer and consecration the Lord is so good and even though I thought I was uh, I think it was last week I was freaking out that I missed the spot and that I wasn't close with the Lord I, I just gave it to him on Wednesday went and saw this place after I heard about it on Friday or th uh, Thursday and uh, Thursday night uh, day 39 um, guy called me back and said hey the place is yours if you want it I said yes I found out he was a believer finding out he's gonna move some folks in at the end of May that are also believers and the guy happens to be a health and fitness uh, individual like myself so the Lord's just um, lining up all the steps in my life, and I'm so, so thankful for that. And I know these next uh, few days and weeks are going to be rather challenging. Got a lot going on, travel and stuff like that. But these 40 days uh, truly have been a blessing to seek the Lord. And um, if you really want to take the time uh, to get to know the Lord and find out what it is that He has in store for you in your life, Go through a fast, maybe do it for three days or five days, seven days, couple weeks, three weeks. Um, this is the longest I've ever done. Um, but it was truly a great experience uh, in all ways, and I just gave it to him and kept the faith. I uh, really got into the Word, and um, it's really been an excellent, really an excellent uh, uh, 40 days. So. With that, uh, just some goals moving forward. I'm going to be restarting my 90-day program. I'm going to be continually uh, seeking the Lord on the best time for me to get with Him. The last few days have been tough and getting in the Word uh, in the morning with a jam-packed day. Uh, but I want to keep Him first always. Um, <clears throat> I also will have... A very small commute within seven miles, or excuse me, not seven miles, seven minutes of my workplace from my new home. So it's a blessing in and of itself. And, uh, oh, I have, um, still am working on getting 
as close to my physical goals as I can on my birthday next month, which is steadily approaching. I think it's a couple weeks from this Saturday. And uh, my goal for uh, May is to work really hard on the pull-ups. I think I might do like 10 or 15 in a row every day all through May. And I'm going to be cutting out peanut butter and granola because of their fat content and drinking alkalinized water uh, because it helps re release fats in the body. My goal is to really, really churn up all the fat that's left over in the body and start aiming for that 7% as best as possible. So well, that will be my goal for May and see how close I can get by the time we get some summer weather in and really get this summer started. So I'm not going to talk too much longer. Uh, this is my final day, day 40 and final recap of, uh, of building muscle while spiritually fasting. Really appreciate all those that have watched and I hope this will be a great record. Uh, for those in the future, it will always be on my page. I'll leave it up there. This is a great experience even just for myself. So um, if anyone has any questions about this, I uh, would love to talk to you guys. And, um, you know, if you have experience as well, feel free to post your videos here as well um, based on what you've learned. But, uh, again, this was just something I'd never heard of anyone uh, trying to do a fast while... A spiritual fast. Uh, there is definitely a different fast out there, the intermittent fast. But uh, never, I haven't heard of anyone doing a spiritual fast uh, while trying to muscle build or gain muscle. So I decided to do it. And if there are those of you out there that have done it, please share. I'd love to hear your journey as well. It would be awesome. So with that, my name's Ryan. Uh, thanks for watching, and that is the end of day forty. So take care. All right, thanks. Peace.